guys i have good news to be shared in today's video as a matter of fact anytime you see me smiling it's only because i have good news to be shared now guys there will be no more biometric residents in the uk come december 31st 2024 all BROPs are expiring precisely 31st of December 2024. Now, I know lots of people are looking at me and like, ah, Nosby, are you super excited, drunk or what? What is good news about BROP ending in December 2021? Uh, I mean, December 31st, 2024. The good news is lots of people have had their BROP misplaced, lost, even stolen or even impersonated and they had to do new ones get police report blah 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 pay money to get their BROP done yes guys it's a whole lot of an azu yes i remember when my husband applied for his uh, provisional driving license i think that was 2021 and he used his uh, means of identification he used his BROP and we didn't get that BROP back somehow somehow it was mis place it didn't get to us yes and uh, what i think they delivered it but blah 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 we didn't know what happened we couldn't get that brop back probably because we did an error blah 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 don't know what really happened but we didn't get that brop back and you know so we contacted them ah we didn't get our brop back and obviously we tried to sort it out and we resolved into getting another brop you could see the stress when you have your BROP misplaced. If you've never had it misplaced, lost, stolen, or even impersonated, you wouldn't understand. But it does happen to people and it's a bit of a stress. So now there is no more BROP. I know on your BROP card, if you have a BROP card, or if you recently got your indefinite leave to remain in the UK, firstly, congrats to you. But you can see on your BROP that every Everything there is expiring 31st of December 2024. And if you've not gotten your indefinite leave to remain and you have a BROP card because you're probably on a skid worker visa or tattoo visa or which of the visa you are, you will see categorically that your BROPs are all expiring in 2024. All right. Now, lots of people have said, so does that mean my status to stay in the UK ends December 31st, 2024? No, 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 no. That's not what it means. I'll tell you what it means in a minute, okay? Now, without wasting any of your time, let's get properly into the video for today so that you can understand everything about this BRP changing, why it's changing, and what it's changing into, okay? What will now prove your status to remain in the United Kingdom? Let's get to the details. Ryan Little. <laughs> beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to have you here if you are seeing my face for the very first time my name is violet okolocha i'm a registered nurse i live and i practice in the united kingdom and on this channel i share information like this so do me a favor like this video right now so you don't forget share this video with as many that will benefit from it and of course don't forget to subscribe now guys our topic for today is all UK biometric residents is expiring precisely 31st of December 2024. Yes. So if you have your BROP, because of course you are on one visa category or the other, probably on the global talent visa, you're on the skilled worker visa, you're on say two visa, student visa, whichever visa you have, you have your BROP. And you can confirm that on your BROP, you can see clearly that it is ending precisely 31st of December 2024. Now, the issue is if you just recently got your indefinite leave to remain, probably you got it this year or probably you got it last year, you could also see that that BROP is also expiring precisely December 31st. 
2024. Now, the big question is, lots of people are worried. Like, oh, my BRP is expiring December 31st, 2024. How do I prove my right to work? How do I prove my status in the UK? How do I, you know, assess services in the UK since I no longer have a BROP? How do I travel? Because, you know, when you travel, you have to travel with your BROP, you know? How do I secure some benefits if I don't have BROP, you know? Stuff like that. I've been on lots and lots of migrants' mind, even those who already have their indefinite leave to remain. Now, so you don't have to worry yourself at all about all those things. The reassuring news is that your BROP is expiring 31st of December 2024 does not mean your stay in the UK is expiring. You can still stay until the validity of your visa. It has nothing to do with your visa, okay? Now, the second question on the mind of people is why does the BROP expire at 31st of December 2024? Now, guys, before I tell you why, I just want to say this to you. I am not an immigration officer of any kind. Whatever I'm telling you obviously is just what i think is right for my research now there are two reasons i think why the brp is expiring precisely december 31st 2024 number one advancement in technology yes technology has come to stay science has brought about a lot of discovery and this technology does make life easy for people instead of taking your brp card when you are traveling back to your home country and having to come back and be sure your brp card everything is going online you know so it's, it's a beautiful and a welcome development. So everything is going online. Everything is becoming digital. So it is a beautiful and a welcome development. You don't have to lose your BROP. You don't have to misplace your BROP anymore. And having to, you know, before now, if you misplace your BROP as a 2020, 2021, you have to, you know, go to report it in the close by or in the local police near to you. You have to pay, I think, £153 thereabout to get your BROP again, you know. But you don't have to worry about those things. Things. Like I said, it's going online and like I said, it's going digital. So you don't have to worry. So it's a welcome development. It's an improvement in technology. It's a proof that science is resolving. It's a proof that science is evolving and advancing every day. That's one. Number two, that BROP is expiring 31st of December 2024. It means that there can be no more forgery everybody will be tracked accordingly yes no more forgery because lots of people we've heard stories of lots of people forging brp blah 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 having to impersonate people having to use people's brp having to snap people's brp and be using it blah 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 we've heard stories of surge but now it's going digital it's going online it means it cannot be forged anymore no impersonation everybody will be tracked accordingly so like i said it is a welcome development the next question is what happened precisely from the 1st of january 2025 so what happens precisely from the 1st of january 2025 is e-visas will now be replacing brp so from the 1st of january 2025 e-visas will now be replacing BROP. I'll read from the UK government website. I'll try to share it on the screen. It says you do not need to tell UK VR if your visa expires on the 31st of December 2024. But your immigration status, for example, your visa allows you to stay longer. So you would not need a BROP from 1st of January 2025. You'll be able to prove your immigration status online. That means digitally. So you'll be able to prove your immigration status with an e-visa without a BROP. Now, UKVI will update their information on how to prove your immigration status in early 2024. So you don't need to do anything and of course, your immigration status will not be affected. Like I said, this is a beautiful and a welcome development. Now, other articles have it. What happens when the UK BROP resident expires in 2024? Now, this article says BROP due to expire at the end of December 2024 are to be replaced with e-visas. Of course, we know that. Home Office Guidance explains that people will need to register 
and set up an online account so that they can view and share relevant information about their immigration status with third parties, such as employers, such as landlord. Now, the guidance state that you can do this by generating a share code in the view. Some of us now know how to generate the share code we share with employers. So it's going to be something similar like that, okay? That's what it's saying here. You can, these are not my words. Of course, you can see I'm reading it and I'm sharing it also on the screen. So you can do this by generating a share code in view and proof service, which will give them time limited access to assess your immigration status information. You can get a new share code whenever you need one. You do not have to remember a single unique code to be able to prove your status. We will continue to share relevant information about your immigration status automatically with some government departments and other public authorities this will reduce the need for you to interact with online services when proving your immigration status so very soon you don't need to say oh i have the right to remain in uk to 2028 you don't need such things anymore by the time you mention your name and your details they will tell you <laughs> your immigration status so it's going to be more beautiful and like i said it is a welcome development well a uh, lot of people thought or are thinking that this might be problematic this might be stressful but i don't think so i think it is a welcome development it is a beautiful development at least everything is going digitally and everything is going online so brps by 1st of january 2025 are going to be replaced by e visa so all brp and this year a beautiful and a welcome development all right guys i don't want this video to be too long but obviously this is the message i have for you all thank you so much remember to like share and of course don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in another of my juicy videos until i see you again have a beautiful week ahead i love you all bye guys